We're about to call Courtney at Vidyard. Right now, Courtney has no idea that she's not going to embark on a sales call. In fact, I'm gonna try flip the call to help her video fire her sales pitch. So, let's see how it goes. Today, we are embarking on a real life marketing makeover. Yep, we're gonna take a couple of real life marketing campaigns and we're gonna make them over to see if we can actually make them better, deliver some bigger and better results. And I wanna know what you think of the makeover. Did we make it better? Are they worse? What would you have done differently? Where would you start? This all started two years ago when I started signing up for free webinars and free software trials and free demos. Since then, I've signed up for 140. Yes, 140! What happens when you sign up for these things? Oh, you know. Within days, you're receiving hundreds of emails and dozens of phone calls from desperate marketing and sales people who desperately want you to talk to them and buy from them. We all want the attention of our audience, and here's the deal, there are four glaring issues with each and every single one of those marketing tactics they're using. So this week on a very special episode of The Loyalty Loop, we are going to go mystery shopping. Then we are gonna help two marketers change their approach and let you decide, is it better? All of that and some amazing wine analogies on this episode of The Loyalty Loop from right here in beautiful Napa, California. while it looks like there's nothing going on, these vines are actually getting ready for the next big harvest. Now imagine that this vine is your website, and while it looks dormant on the outside, every single day it's generating leads for your business that you're gonna harvest as sales in the future. Today, we are gonna dive deep into the roots of your lead gen program. We are going to talk about the things that people don't usually talk about or see, and we're gonna start pruning back the things that don't matter so that we can lay the foundation to grow your business and harvest better leads. And while it looks like the stuff out here hasn't changed much, it's the stuff down there that's gonna make the biggest impact. So, we are going on a journey today, and this is the very first episode of a three-part series. We are gonna make over two campaigns from two different companies, Vidyard and Aprimo, and the very first step is to get inside the mind of the customer, and to do that, we're gonna do some mystery shopping. First up, Aprimo. Now, Aprimo is one of the world's most ubiquitous digital asset management providers. Wait, wait, time out. Before I do this for both of these companies, I think we should take a minute to applaud the brave marketers that they are, letting someone like me, a hypercritical marketing guy, uh, criticize their experience. It takes a lot of courage. So we should be applauding marketers like this. Thank you for being so brave, Aprimo and Vidyard. Okay, game on, time in. Okay, so let's imagine that we are looking for a digital asset management tool and we've heard about a Primo from some of our colleagues, so we go online and we check out a Primo. We watch one of their videos, it's good, but not that good, so we don't watch the whole thing. However, we decide to assess our content lifecycle gaps, so we fill out their cool quiz and it turns out we're a level three. We want to be a level five, so we hit the find out more button and they want more of the same info we just filled out. We decide to take a discover more about the product link and crap, some more forms here, and so we decide to request a demo. Crap, same form. So we take a tour and we watch an intro video and they want the same info again, so we fill it out again. Then we get this nice email from Annette at Aprimo. And as you can see, she is desperate to make an appointment with us on her calendar, but she has a little video to watch, so we watch it. Hi, this is Annette from Aprimo. We all know that great content is essential for delivering exceptional- Not bad, but could it be better? One day later, I get a webinar invite from her for Thursday, 926, so I click the link. Wait, 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 wait. This page says September 8th. What? I try to click the banner at the bottom of her email to download the report, but it's not a link. No matter, I sign up for the webinar and I get this, a confirmation, nice. But two days after I sign up for the webinar, I get this. And I'm thinking, wait, didn't I already subscribe? I, I'm confused. Okay, let's stop right there. We're going to mystery shop another brand in just a second, but first, you're a savvy marketer and I have a question for you. Where would you start? 
what's the first thing you change about this entire experience? Just the first thing. Here's the thing, don't focus on the vine, what people see. I want you to focus on the roots. What would you change down here to make the experience better? Go ahead, leave your suggestion in the comments below because I want to know what you think we should start with and why. And remember, just one thing. Okay, now let's mystery shop brand number two, Vidyard. Yes, Vidyard. Vidyard is a video platform designed to help you integrate video into sales or marketing efforts or even employee engagement, and it's awesome. And full disclosure here, I am a big Vidyard fan. I use it every single day, and Vidyard helped me make this video. Okay, so let's imagine we want to use video in more of our marketing and sales processes, and we've just watched this video, and we've just heard about Vidyard, so we go to Vidyard's website and check it out. Let's mystery shop Vidyard. So we head to their homepage and check out their products. They're offering to create a personalized video. Nice, so we try it. We enter our first name and boom, a video shows up and we start watching it and we're waiting for our name and waiting for our name. Oh crap, okay, we enter our email address, but it's our super secret spam email address that we never check. <laughs> Yay, there's our name, that's pretty cool. And then they ask us to book a meeting with Jesse. Hmm, not ready yet. Oh wait, there's one of those chat bots. Mm. Oh yeah, not ready yet. How much does this thing cost, we wonder? Let's see, different tiers for different needs. Let's check out a demo and see how this works. So we watch the demo video and we'll come back to this later. Oh wait, phone rings, gotta go. <laughs> this is how people really buy. Okay, when we get back to our email after that phone call, we have a very nice note from Courtney. And she says she wants a meeting on Thursday. Weirdly enough, there's no personalized video from her, even though it's Vidyard. And that's okay, she invites us to check this out, so we do. But we don't hit play. Instead, we tell her Thursday won't work. But we ask her what she usually covers in that phone call she's demanding. So four days later, we get this. There's a thumbnail to a video about sales and video. And so anyway, we check it out, we watch the whole thing, but it's not that compelling, really. And I'll come back to this later. You know what? That same day, Day, I got a nice note from Courtney about the call. And a few days later, I tell her I'll try the free tool, but she's out of the office. Okay, okay, time out. Let's stop right there. Here's the deal. Both Vidyard and Aprimo have the very same marketing problems that every single other SaaS company in the world has. And before you start saying, wow, their experience is terrible, I suggest you do one thing. Go mystery shopping on your website before you start criticizing their process. Okay, so what are the four glaring issues that I found with almost all of the 140 free demos, trials, and webinars I signed up for? Here they are. Number one, they are unbelievably predictable. Everybody wants to set up a call and get some time in your calendar, every single one. Number two, they're impersonal. It's all about them instead of you, the customer. They're rushed. Get on my calendar now. Call me now. Schedule an appointment now. They want me now, now, now. We're not ready for most of this. In fact, you might remember that in both of the situations we just went through, I never asked for a call. Not once. And four, they're terribly disjointed. They're all over the place. It's like, did I sign up for the webinar? I thought Annette sent me the thing for the web. I, it's all, all the time. Look, here's the deal. These four things lead to one major issue. Instead of earning our audience's trust, we're just demanding it. And instead of earning attention, we're just grasping for it wherever we can get it. Okay, so where would you start your marketing makeover for Vidyard and Aprimo? Leave your ideas right down below in the comments. And remember this, these teams were brave enough to let us look at their marketing and give them some ideas on how they can improve it. So be kind and be professional in your comments and ideas. Like what would you prune? Where would you encourage growth? How would you fortify the trunk to build a better experience. All right, next week on The Loyalty Loop, we're gonna pick one thing to make over. And in the last episode, we'll actually make it over and I wanna hear what you think of our makeover. So if you don't wanna miss those two episodes of The Loyalty Loop, sign up right here, right below. Subscribe and you'll get every episode of The Loyalty Loop one day before everybody else in the world. So subscribe right now. In the meantime, go out in your vineyard and just go undercover. I mean, look, it's, it's dormant. No one knows who's shopping. Just go undercover on your website and act like your customer. Take a little time to see what they experience, what they feel like, and what they're looking for. And I'll see you next week in my loyalty loop. In the meantime, I'm gonna go warm up inside and taste some of the wine that was harvested from these very vines just a few years ago. And all that hard work they did, I'm gonna appreciate every moment while it looked like they were dormant. So, see you next time. Let's go taste some wine.